Hey y'all, I'm Chrissy from Chrissy Smith Photography. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an inside look to my client closet. a little bit of insight into my client closet this is a strong suit for any of you boudoir photographers out there as well as even if you're shooting maternity newborn you name it when you have props in studio it is a thousand times better um, you're more prepared you have what you need things are gonna run a lot smoother so when I moved over to my boudoir studio I decided right off the bat that I was going to have uh, a client wardrobe for my clients to choose from. Now this does not mean that they can only choose from what I have in my client wardrobe. What this means is if a client contacts me and says, hey, you know, I have these cute undie and bra sets, but I am so unsure about everything else. I looked through your lingerie guide, but I am at a complete, complete loss. I have no idea what to do. I have the ability to say, rest assured, don't worry, come in studio, bring your bra and panty sets. I have things in studio that we can go through our client wardrobe and pull out. You can try them on if you feel that you like them and they're going to go with your look, then we will use that from our client wardrobe. That way I'm able to offer something else to my clients that makes the value of being in a luxury boudoir shoot even better. It makes them feel like you are prepared, you've got this, You, they don't have to worry whatsoever about their images because you are so prepared with everything else. You have things that they're going to look great in and they're less stressed because it's already here. They don't have to go shopping for it. So with that in mind, um, what I typically do and how I go about doing my client wardrobe is if you notice I have different colored tops um, and different colored bottoms to all my hangers. So I know that over here, my black hangers with my silver tops are all going to be my smalls. Then as I move on, my bronze tops with the gray bottoms are going to be my mediums. My gray bottoms with my silver tops are gonna to be my larges. And then I have purple and silver and so on as it goes up. So. I like personally keeping more of like the bodysuit type things in stock. I don't keep as much of the bra and panty sets because let's face it, women just, they, they fluctuate so much in size. So it's not as simple as small, medium, large, extra large, especially when it comes to tops for women. So I try to keep in the bodysuits and then get them to bring in the bra and panty sets. I also don't really carry shoes, only because to me it's kind of weird having people wear shoes all the time and swap them out and things like that. And I am more comfortable with saying, hey, bring your own set of heels. So like I said, I carry a number of different things. Um, like this is one that I ended up picking up. You can pick them up anywhere. Um, this is more along the lines of what I carry in my client wardrobe. I also steer clear of any super bright colors. Now I do keep reds in, um, like even with the super bright red, I do keep reds in mainly for Christmas. Christmas and Valentine's Day are very big times to wear reds. Any other time I stick to the classics. I have blacks, I have whites, um, I haven't been able to find anything that's in gray, but like I said, I try to stick with my blacks and my whites because those are the two that mainly look good on everybody. I do have a couple pinks thrown in there. Like I said, I have a couple reds thrown in there for holidays throughout the season. Um, like I said, as well as, as sticking with my um, body suits, I do grab a couple teddies and my teddies mainly look like this. They are more so like the body suit. You know, they'll have your skirt, but they're more of I wouldn't say your classic teddy or nightgown. Um, they're a bit different because I, I like having things that are variety um, as well as that are going to benefit the looks of my girls. I do carry some corsets in stock as well. 
uh, robes. Uh, <laughs> this always scares people because they see it and go, oh my God, it's so tiny, it won't fit me. But this is a fishnet bodysuit. It stretches, it fits everybody. And the best part, sparkly, which is extremely awesome. I, I love sucker. I am a sucker for like sparkles and glitter. Um, so I do carry those as well. I have robes, I have see-through robes, I have skirts. So that's the variety of what I really carry in my wardrobe. I do carry uh, body jewelry as well that I do use in certain shoots. Um, I know you've seen it in a couple other videos where I have the gold um, body jewelry, excuse me, where I do have the gold body jewelry draped um, that goes with my gold wings. Um, as well as I have chains, I have necklaces, I have hip chains. So I try to keep a little bit of everything. I also keep um, some of the dominatrix stuff in stock. Um, that I usually tuck away, mainly because that is very intimidating to a lot of the girls that come in. So I try to hide it a little bit more because I told my girls to come in and be like, oh my God, what did I just walk into? That way it's hidden and if they say, hey, do you do this sort of thing or do you have any of this in stock? I can say, yes, I do. I will pull that out ahead of time for you so you can take a look at it and decide if you'd like to use it or not. But either way, I am prepared. Um, like I said, that is a very, very big bonus to a lot of clients that come in. And it doesn't matter what genre you're shooting. Um, but with boudoir, it is a very good thing to keep um, at least one or two pieces in each size in stock. Um, you know, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. And I usually go up to like 3X. Um, that way I have something for everybody. I will go in on another video and give you some ideas as to where I get all my wardrobe from. Um, and that way you can check them out yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, shoot them below so I can answer them for you. And by all means, subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> I can't even say it that many times that fast. Subscribe. That way I can keep going and keep making these videos for you, for you to check out, learn from, and get these tips and tricks from. I will see you on my next video.